Hi, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL. Today we'll be going over the basic operation of a DMR talk group on the Brandmeister network, as well as the basic etiquette behind operating on a talk group. And let's get started. IDing every 10 minutes during a conversation is important. However, unlike the operation of most repeaters, where you can hear the entire conversation going on before connecting, you must first connect to a DMR talk group before you can hear the progress of a conversation. To connect to a talk group, unlike a normal repeater or conversation, you first must kerchunk the mic by just giving it a press once you're tuned to the talk group desired. Once you're kerchunked, you're going to want to listen first because you'll almost immediately hear activity on a busy talk group. So once you're Kerchunk, you're going to want to listen first before you ID. This is very, very important. When there is a break in conversation, you'll want to go ahead and key up and give your call sign at that time as soon as possible. And every 10 minutes that you're still engaging in that conversation, a lot of you may be thinking, why would I ID every 10 minutes or even at all? Do I not have a DMR ID that gives everybody my call sign? Uh, the answer is simple. The fact that you're using a DMR ID in no way negates the need to verbally give your call sign every 10 minutes. Um, it's still an FCC rule. It's still a regulation. And even though you have a DMR ID, which digitally identifies your transmission, it's still expected that you ID every 10 minutes. Okay, so some long-winded guy just got done talking and you finally get a chance to key up. Wait, 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 no. You wanna wait at least two seconds when you hear the end of the conversation or the end of the last transmission before you key up and start talking. Otherwise, you could have the first few seconds of your conversation cut off as the machine resets. Furthermore, we should always treat talk groups like a home that we're a guest in. It's somebody else's server. It's somebody else's talk group. They're our host, as our repeater owners, as our club owners, if we're accessing through a repeater. But keep in mind that even if you're accessing through a home hotspot, it is somebody else's talk group that you are talking on. And courtesy is of the utmost importance on the ham band. We want to avoid using wide area talk groups to carry out lengthy conversations. If you're on North America, USA, worldwide, or even on a busy statewide talk group, you want to take the lengthy conversations somewhere else. To say that you are leaving the frequency, instead of giving your call sign and saying clear, DMR adequate just simply says, give your call sign and use the word out when ending a conversation or leaving a frequency or talk group. When identifying, especially in international talk groups, make sure to use the proper phonetic alphabet. The proper phonetic alphabet can be found just about anywhere on any of the ham radio sites, as well as the ARRL website. So I'm KB0TTL, so I would identify, hello, this is Kilo Bravo Zero Tango Tango Lima. And there can be no question in anybody's mind what call sign I'm referring to. If I was to make up Beatrice, Liberty, or anything else, that's just going to confuse folks. Most folks are used to hearing the standard phonetic alphabet. If somebody asks for a signal report, don't immediately shun them for asking for a signal report. Although it may seem strange that somebody's asking for a signal report, signal reports are actually still legitimate in DMR. This is because they're asking about distortion. They're asking about digital audio quality. And if they have a higher bit error rate, they're asking if their transmission sounds at all grainy. No, they're not asking for an S report. S reports are for uh, HF mainly. They are asking for a signal quality report for digital signal. Logbooks, ah yes, logbooks. The friend of the DX operator, the friend of the HF operator. Logbooks are also your friend if you're using, especially the international talk groups. I guess you'll want to keep a detailed logbook. In fact, I don't know why you would not want to keep a detailed logbook of all of your conversations on ham radio. You'll see who you've talked to before. You'll see who the repeats are. 
Plus, it's always nice and nostalgic to have that history to look back on. Now, are you required to keep a logbook? No, you're no longer required by law to keep a logbook. That was actually something that was done away with back, I believe, in the novice days of HF, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's always a nice touch to have a logbook and to keep logs of the people who you've contacted, especially from international countries. In fact, I would even say, what's the purpose of even doing this if you're not logging it? And if you are logging these contacts, then there comes one of my favorite subjects in ham radio, the subject of QSL. We're all familiar with these little paper cards that you can mail out. Now, if you're contacting multiple people on DMR, chances are you're not gonna mail out these guys. But what you can do is get a free account on a website like eqsl.cc, where you can design a free QSL card, where you can also log all of your contacts, and each contact you log gets your QSL card. There's also a RRL service called LOTW, or Logbook of the World. Please check these out, as these are great ways of sending out QSL cards for your contacts. Uh, now we come down to the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to make a contact here. We're going to use the steps of etiquette that I just showed you, that we just discussed here today. As soon as I key this, you should hear activity. There will be a DMR ID with my call sign sent out over the airwaves that is over the network. It'll be visible on their screen who's keyed up. It'll still be incumbent upon me to identify every 10 minutes once I key in. Two zero UK from K3 FEC. And there we are. Chris, nice to. This is Kilo Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Lima. KB Zero TTL, KC4 MHH. Uh, good afternoon. KC4 MHH, very good. It's a James Carr. Hi, James. This is Kilo Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Lima. Just trying out the uh, United States, Ch States Talk Group here. Um, you're coming in loud and clear. I think it cut off on me. And good evening. Yeah, it's, I, I just got this one set up a couple of days ago. Uh, like quite a few others I've been hearing out there, running on it any town. Uh, this is the uh, 568, uh, the mobile unit. I had set up here in the shack. Uh, and running it through the, um, 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 oh, they're hotspots. Uh, <laughs> Sky something, I forget what the heck it's called now. Uh, Sky Bridge. Um, Bingo. Yeah, there's a local repeater here, unfortunately, yeah. is a DMR Plus, so uh, they don't have Talk Group 3100 in it, so I can't hit it from there. Roger, Roger. How are you liking that Sky Bridge there so far? I like it. I, I, it. Now that I'm starting to learn a little bit about it um, and I figured out what I can do, what I shouldn't do, uh, you know, like after I played around and I turned on the Yezu as well there for a while, and it's like, no, now, you know, because I happen to have an FT1D, and it's like, hey, that's me, you know, now I can use it. I might get a second one and set up a second one for the Yezu, and that way I've just got one of each. But definitely learning some of the things like going into Brandmeister and setting up static uh, talk groups for my favorite ones. And then all I got to do is hit scan up here and I can actually scan up through the, through the sky bridge. Well, um, I got to go here, but I'm going to go ahead and say 7-3. That's 7-3 on your final here. Um, again, great talking to you, James, and I will catch you around. Uh, this is Kilo Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Lima, out. Okay, Sebastian, well, you have yourself a great day up there. You're up on my stomping grounds. I'm, I'm originally from St. Louis area. Hey. So you you have yourself a great day, and uh, 73 to you. KC4 MHH. KC4 MHH, Kilo Bravo Zero, Tango Tango Lima, 73. That's how it's done. So we went ahead and logged him, KC4 MHH, James Carr from Florida, originally from St. Louis. Yes, from our home state, so he's probably familiar um, with these parts. Got him in our log here. Heck, I'll go ahead and mail him out one of these. We'll get that going. But um, that's how it's done. Following etiquette, keeping a log, and just having fun. That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about.